Welcome to lesson 5 of how to understand the Quran series. If this is the first time seeing this series, make sure you check out the previous lessons before proceeding with this one. You'll find the links in the description. And today's list is about prepositions in the Holy Quran part 2. It is safe to say that this list is specifically very important because of how often these words are repeated in the Holy Quran thousands and thousands of times. So it is very crucial that you would know these words very well. So let's get started. The first preposition of today is be, and it means with or in. The next preposition is an, and it means about. Next is fi, and it means in. The next preposition is ke, and it means as or like. Next is le, and it means for or belongs to. Next, min, and it means from. The next one is ile, and it means to or to words. The next one is hatta, and it means until. The next preposition is ala, and it means on. Next is Ma'a, and the meaning is with. Finally, wa, and it means and or by. Now let's have a deeper look at the prepositions and how they're used in the Holy Quran. But before we do that, there is a very important thing that we have to talk about, and that is using phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs in Arabic or English are verbs that occur along with another part, like prepositions, for example. Like, let's say, look after and look for. These are phrasal verbs. The problem with this type of prepositions that are used with verbs is that they cannot always be literally translated. So they are often dropped or maybe changed to a completely different preposition when translated to another language. So a verb like kathaba ala, kathaba means lie, but it also contains the preposition ala, which normally means on. But in English, we don't say lie on, so you would translate it to lie about or against. This doesn't mean that ala means against or about, but rather the phrasal verb itself as a whole is translated like so. The main translation for ala remains on, not against or about. Another phrasal verb like فَغْفِرْ lana is translated to forgive us. So the preposition ل is completely dropped for the same reason. So these seeming inconsistencies in translation will disappear inshallah when we start learning these phrasal verbs because then we will learn them along with their prepositions. So the first preposition is be, and it means with or in. These are the most common translations for be in the Holy Quran, like in these examples. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. As I mentioned in a previous lesson, the word bism is originally two words, B, which is the preposition, and the word ism. But the Hamzat Wasl is dropped. And if you want to learn more about Hamzat Wasl and Hamzat Qata and why it is dropped in this example, you need to check this video and you'll find the link in the description as well. Next example is Inna arsalnaka bil Next preposition is an, and it means about, like in these examples. وَلَا تُسْأَلُ عَنْ أَصْحَابِ الْجَحِيمِ 
وإذا سألك عبادي عني فإني قريب. Next is في. And في means in. And it can be used literally and figuratively. But it is mostly used figuratively in the Holy Quran. Like in these examples. وَقَاتِلُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ الَّذِينَ يُقَاتِلُونَكُمْ وَإِن كُنْتُمْ فِي رَيْبٍ مِّمَّا نَزَّلْنَا عَلَىٰ عَبْدِنَا فَأْتُوا بِسُورَةٍ Next is كا And كا is one of the straightforward prepositions and it means as or like like in these examples. كذلك جزاء الكافرين We notice here the word كذلك. This is one of the most common words that you will see in the Holy Quran. And it is made up of كا, which means as or like, and ذلك, which is a word that we learned in lesson one. So make sure you still remember these ones because these are very important as well. Next example. وَإِنَّ يَوْمًا عِنْدَ رَبِّكَ كَأَلْفِ سَنَةٍ مِمَّا تَعُدُّونَ Next is the preposition لا. And it could be seen as لي with كسر or لا with فتح. And it means for, like in these examples. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Thalika al kitabu la rayba fee. Hudan lil muttaqeen. Next is the preposition min. And min means from. Like in these examples. وَإِن تُصِبْهُمْ حَسَنَةٌ يَقُولُوا هَذِهِ مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ وَإِذْ نَجَّيْنَاكُمْ مِنْ آلِ فِرْعَوْنِ Next is the word إِلَى And إِلَى means two or two words. So it is used when it refers to a place, but also refers to a destiny, like in these examples. وَيَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ يُرَدُّونَ إِلَىٰ أَشَدِّ الْعَذَابِ يَهْدِي مَنْ يَشَاءُ إِلَىٰ صِرَاطٍ مُسْتَقِيمٍ Hatta means until, and it is used in context in these examples. وَلَا تَحْلِقُوا رُؤُوسَكُمْ حَتَّى يَبْلُغَ الْهَدِيُ مَحِلَّهَ لَن تَنَالُوا الْبِرَّ حَتَّى تُنْفِقُوا مِمَّا تُحِبُّونَ And the next preposition is عَلَى and ala means on, like in these examples. Next is ma'a. And ma'a means with. And if it refers to being with several people, it could be translated into among. Here are some examples for the preposition ma'a. رَبَّنَا فَاغْفِرْ لَنَا ذُنُوبَنَا وَكَفِّرْ عَنَّا سَيِّئَاتِنَا وَتَوَفَّنَا مَعَ الْأَبْرَارِ رَبَّنَا آمَنَّا فَاكْتُبْنَا مَعَ الشَّاهِدِينَ And the last preposition is where. 
And it is a word that is repeated thousands of times in the Holy Quran, and it means and. It also means by, and it is much less often used in the Holy Quran. And if you've been following this series, you would know by now that there is a memorized list that goes with this lesson. And it is very advisable that you would use it to learn these words properly. Don't forget to check it out. And don't forget to check out the description for the PDF file for this list and also the printable version if you want to print it out as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you've learned something new today. If you did, please like and share the video for other people to learn from it. And please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in lesson 6.